Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFist YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be going over a little Tron TRX latest news and uh, switching off Windows with my NVIDIA rig. Alright guys, be back in a bit. Hey guys, before we go on, um, if you guys are like free Bitcoin, I've got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where as you guessed it, every Friday I give away Bitcoin. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification icon so you'll be notified when that video comes out to where you can enter to win, okay? So before you do anything else, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and uh, you'll be notified in the future when your chance to win is available. Alright guys, so real quick before we go on, um, I had a new banner here made as you can see by BitTruth uh, as a subscriber. Um, I'll put a link to his channel down below if you all are interested in getting a banner done for your um, channel if you all have one. Um, head over to uh, his YouTube channel and uh, give him a shout, alright? So let's hop into the latest Tron news and then we'll get into why I'm moving off Windows. Alright, so Tron and Bitcoin Cash tread rough, rough waters upside ahead. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, this weekend the cryptocurrency market began digging itself out of a hole in May, but unfortunately has corrected again this morning. So I think it's trading at about at least Bitcoin's at like 74 or something. It's not, not that big of a deal. Uh, Bitcoin is currently trading just below 7,500, and Ethereum is nearly at 600 a coin. News broke early this morning that open source GitHub will be acquired by Microsoft. Now, I don't think that's very positive news. I don't know if I want Microsoft involved, but anyways. And this could be very well the, be the reason the market is in the red. Many developers aren't happy. Uh, but I wouldn't see them cashing in just yet. This may be just newbie investor reactions. I think it's a little more than that. Let's take a look at, uh, at least, let's take a look at Tron. I'm not really worried about Bitcoin Cash. In case y'all are wondering, I've got a lot invested in Tron. Um, a lot of coins at least, nearly 10,000. So, Just five days ago, Tron launched its mainnet and TRX's price has been all over the place. It's been all over the place for months. I don't know what they're talking about. As you can see, Tron had a sharp price dip and spike just before its launch, but has been all over the place ever since. Tron's price has been has behaved the opposite of EOS's, who also launched his mainnet just a few days ago. Justin Sun announced that TRX will be listed on CoinX starting June 6. I don't really think that's going to make a difference at all. Uh, Justin Sun's tweet, TRX will be listed on CoinXCom. You can deposit TRX and trade TRX slash Bitcoin Cash. So, uh, TRX Bitcoin at 11 a.m. June 6. It's my brother's birthday, by the way. you got to remember to call him. Currently, all major change, exchanges that hold TRX are set to handle the token migration. At press time, Tron is trading at 0 0.0589 a coin down 5.88 cents in the past 24 hours. Seems like it never ends for that uh, TRX. I had two bad bets it seems like going so far. Uh, Verge and Tron. Got a bunch of Verge. 3,775 Verge and 1,771 Tron that I got through mining and the rest I bought myself. Um, anyways, so on to why I'm getting off Windows. I have been fooling around. This is on my NVIDIA rig right here. It's right here. I got the two 1060s and a 1070 Ti. There's, of course, 3 gig is still down. One of the reasons I'm getting rid of the, getting rid of Windows. I'm tired of it. I've spent hours and hours and hours taking drivers off, putting them back on, um, getting blue screens to death whenever that third, that, um, third card, the 3 gig, is plugged in and starts running. I can get it to recognize it. I can get it to start mining with Awesome Miner, but it'll mine for sometimes for 30 seconds, 
and crash. Sometimes it'll mine for 10 minutes, crash. It gets a blue screen and it gets some kind of a TDR display error. I've Googled it, looked into it, and of course they say take the drivers off, put them back on. You don't know how many times I've taken the drivers off of Windows for this for this rig to get these cards up and running. I'm just tired of it. So what I'm going ahead and doing, this card runs wirelessly, by the way, which is why I can't run SMOS. My other one runs uh, SMOS, and it's uh, got a, something called a TB link, which I'll show you right here. Um, the one I got is the TP Link um, 2000 from my SMOS rig, and this uses the electrical wiring in your house to um, give you a basically a landline. So I got this. I'm gonna put this in the uh, in the lounge in a house where the Nvidia rig is, and I'm gonna plug this in, and hopefully I don't have any issues with this. That way I'll have a wired connection. And I can run SMOS on this NVIDIA rig. And if, cross my fingers, if everything goes well, I won't have to worry about Windows anymore. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So that's that. If you all are interested, this is a pretty good price. I mean, it's a AV600, 600 megabits per second. I think that's what it is. Yeah, 600 megabits per second. Should be more than enough to run the uh, SMOS rig. Um, 39 bucks. The other one I bought was like 80 bucks for the TP-Link AV2000. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below if you all are in the same boat and you're running Windows rigs as wirelessly and you got problems with your Windows rig. I would suggest just getting one of these. Like I said, it works fine on my other rig. So it's been been running for months on my AMD rig without without a problem so I'm hoping supposedly this should be it's the same company it should be compatible all I should have to do is plug in hit a little button and it should sync up to the other ones um, at least that's how it is in theory so that's what I plan on doing when I get home in a little while they just came in today uh, I was ordered on the second as you can see there and I just checked and they did deliver it today so when I go home here in a little while I'm going to set that up, and I'll let you all know in the video tomorrow. Anyways, as you can probably tell, I'm just frustrated with Windows. It's a royal pain in the butt. Uh, probably also has a little bit to do with that motherboard I got, because that's been giving me issues since I got it as well. See, uh, MSI, I think it's the Z370 SLI Plus, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. And I only got that for that CPU I have, which is the i5-8600K CPU, which was an 8th generation. So I had to get that 370 board. So I'm going to lose the $0.26 cents a day it's making on the CPU. But I should gain anywhere from $0.80 cents to a dollar uh, by getting that 3 gig up and running. Because it hasn't been running now in at least a week. Well, it hasn't been running ever since I got that 1070 Ti in. It's been pretty much down. As far as this, the um, 560 that's down right now, I need to get that M.2 adapter slot. I'm going to worry about that once I get this other rig squared away. So, cross my fingers. I'll let you all know tomorrow what's going on. Um, and hopefully I got some good news. With that, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification icon below. Uh, guys, got any questions or comments? Maybe you guys hate Windows as well. Let me know below. Um, I'm, done. I'm not going to fool with it anymore. I'm not taking and stripping out drivers. I, it's been like I probably spent like 10, 12 hours on that rig over the course of the last week and a half trying to get trying to get it up and running right, and I'm, I'm done with it. So. Like I said, hopefully SMOS works, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, guys, that's enough of my rain on Windows. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, and bye.